Well, stocks are looking okay this morning. This was after yesterday's huge sell-off. The Dow Jones Industrial Average is down five points. Now, Thursday's huge sell-off came as the Federal Reserve found that strict lending standards actually kept some homeowners who could have refinanced from staying in their homes. Now, the Fed determined that banks foreclosed on 2.3 million people nationwide when other options were out there. Now, joining us for some perspective this morning on what happened yesterday and where we're looking like now, uh, Carl Bonham, the executive director from the University of Hawaii Economic Research Organization, joins us now for more. Good morning, Dr. Bonham, and thank morning. you so much for joining us. So a lot of people looked at those stock numbers and <clears throat> made a big cast, more than 400 points yesterday. What exactly happened uh, in relation to what the Fed was doing for the last two days? Well, there were a couple of things that, the, that came out of the Fed's two-day meeting. One was a change in their statement about how the U.S. economy is doing. So back in August when they met, they were telling us that, you know, the downside risks have increased. This time they said, there are significant downside risks. And you know, every time the Fed meets and they release a statement about the economy, the traders are parsing every word and mm -hmm. trying to figure out what they mean. And the Fed added even more language about the, the problems we face because of global financial markets. And you know, it, it just sort of pushed people's panic button, if you will. Right, and so we've seen this panic button being pushed before. So are we gonna see more of this in the future? Well, you tend to see this after the Fed meetings, well, at least over the last several years, when you know, the Fed has been saying, uh, things aren't going quite so well, and here's what we're going to do about it. And some of the concern is that there's not a whole lot left that they can do about it. And so to the extent that you know, the economy just kind of goes up and down mm -hmm. and we get a little bit of bad news, actually not much good news recently, uh, yeah, you're going to see that fear and those sell-offs and then a the rebound from that. For, for a while now. So the Fed uh, released what it calls uh, Operation Twist. It has a really interesting name and it's all just to boost the sluggish economy and uh, get consumers to apply for more mortgages, get uh, businesses to uh, take out more loans to try to boost the economy. And there's really mixed reaction right now out in the public. Uh, what's your reaction to this and do you think it'll work to boost the economy? Well, actually, we, you hear a blog about this a couple days ago, and you can, you can find that on our website and on Facebook. And uh, one, our, our basic bottom line was you really should be thinking about these, these actions, the Fed's actions and the president's job plan, as sort of trying to create a situation that stabilizes a little bit. It's not mm -hmm. going to turn the economy around and cause roaring growth, but it's something that sort of sets the stage, helps get us through this rough patch while we really wait for the private sector to recover. All right, well, that's something definitely we should think, be thinking about. Dr. Carl Bonham from U Hero, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. And we'll see you guys next Friday. As always, you can post the interview. You can see this interview uh, with Dr. Bonham on our morning section of our website, kitv.com slash this morning. The time now is 640.